I'm like a paranoid person, I erase it anyways because I just want to see how it looks when it's done. Like if it has like areas that weren't erased around it will make it look ugly so I don't know, I get paranoid I guess. Even though I'm going to be covering up it up later. Alright, well before I end the skin tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make like a blush I guess maybe all right well we'll do that by of course making a new layer but this time the way I do it is I change it to multiply we do that by clicking here in the normal area and moving it up to multiply we usually will make a uh, color starker and whatnot all right well we want to change the brush to like a softer brush this whatever you know you can look soft make it huge well, about this big, not that huge. And then pick like a pinkish color. <coughs> like this. It's pretty light because it's going to end up being really dark anyways. And just dab it softly on the sides. And then make it darker and darker by keep pre by keep uh, by by pressing on it hard. Well, for tablet users, of course, but I usually darken it, darken it around the sides like that, and then of course I'll erase. Oops, I forgot to name the layer blush. Let me do that right now. Ugh, I'm so unorganized. Sorry guys, but I usually don't name my layers, but I'm doing it for the sake of your learning expedition. Or whatever. Alright, <coughs> well there you go. You have your blush there. And, um... Alright, well you know what? I'm going to show you how to make two little dots of highlights or whatever. Alright, well we're going to click on Outline Copy 2 and make a, a layer on top of that and we'll call it highlight which well, is just going to be two little white dots or off white like that and you just grab a smaller you change you click on your brush tool and click on a smaller uh, brush about a four um, I usually leave the hardness to 100, but you know what, today I'm going to put it around 55% and just put two little dots. Okay. Alright, while making, when ma making highlights, always make sure to put the layer on top of the, on top of all the layers, even the outline copies and everything, so you can get it on top of everything. Alright, well... Oh, let me put it so you guys can see it full view, so you can, so you can have an idea of how much better it looks. You go to view and put extra pixels, and there you go. We have a pretty blurry picture. Also, if you guys want to make it super super blurry, um, I usually add this to the finishing piece. I'll go to, well, first, of course, you want to save it first, you know? I'll go to layer, um, merge visible, and then what I'll do is I'll duplicate the, the layer, put OK, whatever, you know, <coughs> or change the name, and then I'll go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian, Gaussian blur, and now blur, I'll give it a high blur pixels, like really, like a lot. And press OK. And then I'll change um, the blending mode to hard lights. And it'll give it like a really nice glow. And you could uh, control this glow by, by the opacity here. You could, you know, lower it, make it higher, you know whatever you feels good to you. 
But this usually looks good at the end of, of, of when you're done with the picture, you know, when you have your background and everything done. And, um, yeah, well, this concludes the end of my tutorial. Um, next up, I'll, I guess I'll show you how to do her hair, you know, whatever. As long as, you know, you guys give enough demands for that. Um, what to say? Uh, oh yeah, and um, subscribe to my videos guys. Uh